All right, so reporting from Canada. Considering that the LZ World Tour is this weekend, I decided to show up a couple days earlier to visit some friends. As you may have seen Vasily on the channel in previous instances like LZ Invitational, he's the guy who's built the Porsche Cayenne. Vasily is nice enough to let me pilot the crazy V8 SUV taxi. Andrew was this. nice to drive it and don't smash it, but we smashed it already. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So Vasily was trying to sell me the Porsche, but he ended up crashing it instead. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens once you know, oh, okay, I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna smash it. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. ah, it's okay, we just don't care anymore. Yeah, it's, not, it's not good for anybody it's now. Like, no, mine. no, I'm gonna fix it. If okay. I can't have it, nobody can. If you're not having it, then nobody have I'm gonna leave it with myself. And say. But anyways, I took a couple days to show up before Chris and Cricket. What's up guys? We are driving to Canada to the LZ World Tour. Really excited. We get to go see a bunch of our boys. Yeah, we got uh, the Vibrant Party. We're going to go see the FDF guys. Obviously all of our buddies from the LZ World Tour, seeing Jimmy. Luke Fink, uh, Max. Yeah. Uh, even little Boothy's coming up. Oh yeah, Booth's coming up too. Lee's coming up. So yeah. Booth's coming up and he hopefully doesn't put up on one of our rental cars. Oh yeah, Booth's got the rental. Yeah. Hurt. Hurt drive it, which he'll be there this weekend too. We hope to see you guys there. Hope to see you at the LZ World Tour. If you can't get there, make sure to check it out online. We will be doing a live stream for there. And uh, yeah. yeah. Joel's going to be a big YouTube guy right now. Yep, as we are driving up, Joel's going to be doing YouTube stuff. So whatever he's cooking up for you guys for the video in the meantime, enjoy it. So in the meantime, I'm here with Vasily. I've always seen this place on YouTube, TSH Auto. That's where they build all these cars on the side. As I like to say, Vasily's just building cars for fun at this point. Primarily, it's an Audi repair shop. Okay. But we started getting into like custom fabrication and making fun stuff too. So that's why we'll be more than happy to show you what we have going on. He built his first drift car, which was the Porsche Cayenne. And now they have an Audi with a VR6. FDF came out with a video showcasing it as their full angle kit. And we'll show off the details in a bit. But first, we're going to show off the shop, a little tour around here, see what actually happens at TSH Auto on the regular day to day. So, welcome. Here is the office. Yeah. Big Toronto, guys. Yeah. Andre. Hello. Folks. And Dennis. Dennis hello, is the owner. Andre is a pro driver who is gonna drive the pro car. So Andre, where are you from? I'm from Ukraine. I'm a professional drift driver from Ukraine. I'm vice champion and right now I'm in Canada and we wanna be winner. <laughs> <laughs> He's working here like customers, working with customers, making the orders, like keep all the guys busy, make sure all the parts is on time. And yeah, and the Dennis is the uh, owner and he makes sure everything like keep rolling, but if he needs, he just jump in and fix stuff, like the most complicated stuff. And me, I'm just hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here. There is a customer area. Like a waiting room up there? Waiting room, yeah. oh, okay. Here is a little coffee kitchen. It's not the best one. And uh, we're getting into our first uh, bay where we have three hoists and just the regular work going on like some maintenance stuff like heavy repairs engine repairs engine rebuilding transmissions fixing and as you can see mostly like the audi stuff we do everything like whatever you name it like fixing and we're specialized a lot to restore all the wiring on our array doing the transmission on s5 subframe all that stuff like and uh, not only audio so as you can see we do like all german, mostly like german cars like 99 percent german cars mercedes bmw and all like european range rovers land rovers like everything european so this is a our second bay this one is the first one where it's all started basically uh, that's why it's a little bit rougher shape than all other ones but we have a four-wheel drive dyna here it's a mustang dyna we got it a few years ago from mustang it's pretty nice it's all-wheel drive and we're testing our cars here yeah it's like 1500 horsepower all-wheel drive dyna it's good to have it we're not tuning right now so we have remote tuners but like if we need to test it, even our own cars tune it, we can do basically here. So here we have like 
three hoist same again maintenance repairs we have alignment machine here engine rebuilding room cnc boring machine and honing so we can do anything like you bring the car we can fix it we can we have a body shop we can paint if you have blown engine we can rebuild it in home in house so that's basically it so now we are in the third bay and this is a body shop so we can do everything in house and this is an office and waiting area so body shop does everything as always like insurance job our painting custom stuff everything you name it and uh, let's go to see what's going on here as you see we have some repairs going on also some classic restoration projects we have a nice paint booth Cool. That's where we get the Audi painted. Nice. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, some restoration projects. One, another one, insurance job. So, you can see here our little lineup of the cars. So, this one, you probably know, LS2 rear wheel drive drift porsche cayenne party machine with which joel drove at lz world tour fuel fest next one we have e92 this is just a stock free 28 was all wheel drive converted to rear wheel drive this is our video operator <laughs> Car. So. and the next one is his another toy s15 i don't know he bought as is SR20, I don't know which one because I'm not good with GDM stuff. Next come our test car where we start testing the angle kit. Before we start building the Pro-M car, which we're gonna show you later, we decide to test it out and see how the angles is gonna work, how the car is gonna feel. So we did a little upgrade on the turbo. So it's two liter turbo. So basically, Audi 2 liter turbo engine, CDS turbo manifold, little G25 clone. Maybe next time we're gonna upgrade and come to Drift HQ and get the guard from them, the real one. So making 300 horsepower at wheels, stock all wheel drive transmission, but rear wheel drive converted, welded diff, e brake, like has all interior in it, like drives well. And before we build the pro car, the Andre started driving this and getting used to the platform and everything so drives well and the fourth brief is a new addition this is just almost finished renovation so still finishing a few small things and there is some secret project we've been working almost nine months with dennis he's coming too here it is you probably seen it somewhere fdf video tested but here it is with a livery and everything on it like 95 percent ready to drive <laughs> powertrain works well just need to finish some body panel fitment but we decide to try to finish as much as we can for lz world tour even if we don't know if we can drive we cannot we'll see montage montage Basically, two of us built this car for the past nine months. The goal is to build the car, FD legal, to go prospect, but not next year, because we need to test out the platform, the chassis, nobody built it before. Yeah, it's still fresh. We're gonna test it out in Pro-Am competition with Andre, and hopefully 2025, we're gonna come over FD to prospect and do it. And basically, we're gonna start from the engine bay, gonna remove the and Dennis is going to explain what we have for the engine in this car. Here is our engine. We took it from 2004 Volkswagen Touareg, 3.2 liter VR6 with forged crank. We did the uh, forged internals, connecting roads, pistons, CGE pistons. We did girdle to make block stronger on the bottom. This engine has a dry sum system which been designed by IABIT Industries for us. We're using the turbo. It's a Garrett 3584 RS2 and a custom made manifold twin uh, gate to spin it faster. And it has a custom uh, T4 twin scroll housing on it. 
also well it's a vibrant performance intercooler all piping vibrant performance all the lines all the fittings is vibrant performance yeah basically just to build the engine from ground up custom oil pan dry sum alternator electrical steering, oh, steering pump just want to make less belts so lose less and um, not that much people using this engine and uh, what's good about this engine it's audi volkswagen audi specific engine so we're keeping audi chassis with volkswagen audi engine so like basically one car brand in this car <laughs> kind of this engine always confuses me because the back looks like the front yeah it looks like that hump for like the i guess the cams and all the fancy yeah, extra timing yeah, that should be up here yeah it should be up here but because and then it's... you have this like blank area where that's where the serpentine line would be but it looks like that's the back of the engine yes because this engine mostly was like used in a front wheel drive application where it goes like not longitudinal mm -hmm. it goes yeah. like sideways you're saying all this is custom the... yeah all brackets the mounting so the dry sum system aviate but not specific for this engine but no because nobody is making it custom billet oil pan built by our friend from ottawa iabit industries and we design all the brackets with Dennis. I design, he cut on our small CNC machine, as well as everything else, like all like mounting. See those little brackets here for the oil filter housing, bracket here for the oil catch can, the bracket for the power steering pump. Like all built in house, thanks a lot. <laughs> What we have this small machine here helps a lot. So like those brackets too. All, all mounting brackets here custom made. Because nobody makes the drift Audi parts, right? So that's why that's one thing we had to invent and make it work because nobody makes it. But you gotta be the first to make something different as a Porsche or as a drift Audi or well, maybe something else, we'll see. So walk us through the interior. So you already got some DND seats in here. Yeah, some DND seats, steering wheel. Thanks Josiah for helping it. Again, custom bracket made in house. Rice fab shop help us in design the floor panels. We scan the car here and uh, send him the 3D file for that. He designed the cage and we cut and CNC bend this cage locally, like one and a half hour away, the VR3, they make CNC, custom CNC bending and cutting. And we weld everything in house. So this one FD legal cage in Audi A5. So if anybody needs A5 cage, we have it. So you said this was gonna be for prospects. So that yes. means you have to be on a link ECU for now. Yes, so that's why the only choice because we're planning to do FD prospect was link ECU. So this car has a Fury X ECU and it's all on PDMs to Razor PDM like no fuses, no release, all CAN bus, everything, EGT sensors, keypad, all wired by us too. First time doing it, <laughs> it has a little bit complication, but after you figure out everything, works just fine. The, the rear end, you, do, you did a rear mount radiator and fuel So stuff. everything is um, like pro AM car, pro car. We cut out the rear end, like the metal, we found the body kit, fiberglass, luckily one guy was making it in Poland, so it took like Almost for a while yeah, <laughs> yeah, to get, to get it, it here. here. The, but the, the hardest part was actually shipping. Shipping, yeah, the yeah. price wasn't that bad. And um, so pretty much mounted, cut out the rear end, rear mount radiator fuel cell. We're gonna move the, remove the trunk. The trunk lid, made by us in-house fiberglass so we molded the ducktail to original uh trunk boot lid whatever and um, make a mold of it and make a part because the only thing for the light stops for now still the metal one but because the side panels came without it so we're gonna attach to this and make a fiberglass of it but later on 
That's the fiberglass mold. That's cool. Yes. We gotta figure out everything because when you contact the people and ask the price, the price is going like this and you, yeah, you might as well try to do it yourself. <laughs> you still need another panel sometimes in the future. So, yeah, the rear end all cut off, running the stock plastic bumper. The Bosch bar is not completed yet, like we're gonna, we're still thinking on that, but rear mount radiator, new performance fuel cell with all like new performance filling cap, uh, rear mount radiator, CSF, R1, thanks Josiah, I just steal from him ideas. Eh? So like you were saying, that's the first time you ever do car, like that's level, say, that's yeah. level, yeah. I would say you know car audio wiring, but you did actual wiring for a race car. Yeah, like car audio is a little bit easier, but I apply some stuff from that. And yeah, just spend some time learning, looking. Thanks a lot to the forums that <laughs> still exist and like LinkSU is pretty good on answering the questions. So like whenever I had any issue, I just messaged to leave the message there and the admin was answering that, so, but Wiring wise, yeah, you just need to figure out the, the layout and sensors you're using. After that, it's not that like complicated, I would say. Okay, let's hear it. I'm gonna fire it up. Okay, here you can see our oil pan. It's been designed by Abbott Industries. Also, this is the dry for dry sump. Uh, it's made here in house. Uh, we use GM alternator, 400 amps, uh, custom made bracket for it. Because we used BMW transmission and we have a triple disc tilt on there, we had to make plate to fit engine to the transmission. So. That's we designed it here at house too. Nobody makes any transmission adapter, so we decide we're gonna do our own research and design on that. There is a company supporting all-wheel drive VR6 swaps, and they make in the flywheel. So we bought this flywheel modified, put triple tilt and disc, and made our own adapter just to marry it with a 335 E92 transmission. So for the suspension part, the Audi is pretty similar to 350Z. Only the difference is a front rack as a BMW, but double wishbone. As you know, we have a good relationship with Josiah from FDF Race Shop, and he always supports our crazy ideas like a Porsche, like a, our small kit on the A5, that's where we started. And here you have like full-blown angle kit built by FDF for this car. Hopefully we can bring more Audi people into drifting and sell it. You can sell it, you can buy a Drift HQ. Maybe you want to buy Audi and convert to a drift car. And yeah, everything will be possible soon. And so for the rear, one of the kind grip kit like testing it right now. Dennis did some welding on the knuckles. We plugged a few holes. The first original design, because Audi knuckle has a big bushing in the front and it's kind of HR. And this bushing allowed the knuckle to work with this toe arm. So we did the first design connecting directly, didn't work. He changed design, make a little arm going up. So right now we have a design similar to S550 Mustang. 
So like very similar even the shock mount and everything. For the shocks we're on um, scale suspension callovers and it's true rear callovers because original Audi has like separate is like E92 BMW. So this one they made us custom one piece callover. Basically we're testing everything, see how it runs and we'll see from there. Okay, here our exhaust we fabricated here at the shop. I, actually, I did the, all the weldings. We use 4 inch vibrant performance stainless steel pipe for the downpipe and uh, continue with 3.5 inches up to the back of the car. Okay, so we had to re uh, relocate radiator from front to the back. We we had to do those uh, plumbings here. So we use just the regular aluminum pipes and the vibrant performance fittings for that. Here is the uh, water pump. We decided to locate it right here. It's amazing electric water pump and here is battery. So we put it right here close to the ground. It's a lithium battery, very light and compact. Since it's a pro car, we need to have a really good differential to ha ha handle this power and also it has to be, we have to be able to change gearings. So we decided to go with the Vintage, thanks to Jesai. He actually fit the differential in here, so he did the brackets for it and we welded here at the shop. So as you can see, it's everything aligned well and uh, looks like it's been here forever. But the main reason we're using the Winters because the Audi differential rotate opposite way. If yeah. we put BMW transmission, we will have six speed reverse and one forward. <laughs> so we come to the point where we're like, okay, are we gonna run the 488 and modify subframe to fit it? Or we're just gonna spend a little bit more money and buy the Winters right all out of the bed. That's why we have BMW transmission for now down the road, we're gonna switch the dog box. But for now, there was no option to do not run the winters, so that's why. So you're gonna be piloting this car? Yeah, I am. And it's gonna be so sick, cause we tested out one time this vehicle and I can say that it's gonna be amazing, cause car feels on the track so easy, you know, I don't need to, to do something extra with the car, just to manage it a little bit, you know? Just to take right direction and that's it. What do you think about it? Love this thing. This thing is, you know, you always see the 2JZ BMW. You always see the V8 yeah, it's uh, S chassis. Good. You see, you know, that's like the typical go-to. Yeah, exactly. But to see a different chassis finally entering into the and whole. And also, you know, it's the first built Audi A5 and uh, which, which uses original one subframes. Because also I have seen maybe one A5 uh, in Europe somewhere. And that car... I guess use like uh, vice fab from Tupper or something like that. Mm. Yeah, but you know, it's not original Audi. But this vehicle is this original Audi with original sun frame with uh, almost everything original, all points, you know what I mean? We just installed custom angle kit on this vehicle exactly for this car. It's exactly for Audi A5. I guess it's gonna be something new and I feel that this car can compete. We will show it. All right, so I know the whole video, you guys are probably looking in the back like, what is that purple and green thing? I'm gonna show you guys. We got both the dudes over here. Hey. And then we got that. Vasily, is this the same car? Yeah, it's the same. You've seen two years ago at the LZ Inventational playing some music, remember? Oh, yeah, that's I... true. The First loudest time. sound system I've ever heard in my life. And but... not even only bass, I mean, it's crystal clear, treble, mid-tones, everything, like here, concert level quality inside this thing so yeah this that's is... that's where i started so that's evolved into drifting from car out yeah. but i still have a love for any kind of cars so decide to refresh a little bit the car it has that like color shift color on it green purple bluish and the huge subwoofer how big is that subwoofer 21 it's a 21 inch sub my guy got a 21 inch subwoofer in the back yeah. of an Audi wagon. A4 wagon swapped with S4 engine transmission, 400 horse wheel, all wheel drive, DSG transmission, oh, air ride, oh, man. three piece rims. Yeah, yeah these yeah, wheels. Yeah, let me, let's, let's, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that little couple thing. Speakers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that little thing. Just a couple speakers. Just a few, so you make sure that you can, you know, enjoy your yeah, music. Yeah, you can enjoy, yeah. When I'm driving, I need to enjoy. <laughs>
All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the video right there. We're gonna be in Canada until the LZ World Tour. In the meantime, we're gonna be visiting a bunch of shops like this where they have cool builds. Either they build cars, make parts, or do both. Hope you enjoyed this video where we showed Vasily and TSH Auto and the crazy stuff they've built. Now we wait for Chris and Cricket to get here to Canada and next video will be with them and whatever shop we end up at. Yeah. Thank you, Vasily. Yeah, thank you. Chris and Cricket told me they need the outro, you know? Yeah, have you seen our outro? No. Like, comment, subscribe, and Roman, then... Yeah, like, you gotta do it. Like, comment, subscribe. And then, yeah. And yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta yeah. yeah. <laughs>